Dan Ullman, Mike Beer are taking a look at race number nine at Gulfstream Park on Saturday. It's the Sunshine Classic for Florida bred or sired runners going a mile and a 16th short stretch. The mile and a 16th run at Gulfstream Park. Seven entered for $75,000. And Octane, the number one, is your seven to five morning line favorite. And the horse to beat dropping out of the grade two Harlan's Holiday. A race where he ran just fine. Yeah, they did just fine. Didn't see a huge excuse for him there, but he, he ran fine in that race. That was a tougher spot than this one. Really good post this time. Dan, this horse has speed, has the rail, should make the lead into the first turn here. And seemingly has all the figures as well. So we throw up the time form U.S. pace projector. There's a chance that the best horse gets the best trip, making the lead from an advantageous inside post with a short run to the first turn in a time form U.S. pace projector, which favors front runners. Octane can get to the lead. The five slim, slow slider has your fastest time form U.S. late pace rating, and horse has lacked a little bit of a punch in his last couple. Yeah, he has. Um, we're going to see if uh, Slim Slow Slider, you know, likes the two turns here as well, Dennis. I think that could be a little bit of a question for him. He's going to need something to run at, but his recent form on dirt's pretty good. Octane looked good beating Cal uh, Florida Prince two starts back at the Campbell Memorial. Uh, was four wide on the backstretch after about a half mile. Once he made the front, he was just on his way. And in the Harlan's Holiday, he kind of made a bid on the second turn into contention. He took some money in that race, and then he just flattened out. He's likely going to get the best trip. He's going to be a short price, and he's simply the horse to beat. Yeah, it's just a way better spot for him. I mean, again, I didn't think he had you know some kind of an excuse last time in the grade three. To me, he just wasn't good enough. Um, but this is a way better spot for him. And if he makes the lead, he's going to be really tough to run down. I think the two lure him in is very dirtied up coming into this race. A big buyer speed figure performance, two starts back. First off, the Herman Walensky claim going a one-turn mile. Now, while this horse's running line in the Harlan's Holiday doesn't look very good, just click the short comment in your formulator past performances. He must have been six wide around the track. Yeah, I mean, you break from post 10 going a mile and a 16th on this track, and it's pretty tough to overcome it. And when you watch the replay, you can just see how tough it is or how tough it was for lure him in last time. I mean, he was in the parking lot around the first turn and he just never got over. I'll give him a pass for that one. Really like the win two starts back then. I know it was a one turn mile, sort of a different kind of a race, but I thought he ran really well that day. They have spent most of his career avoiding dirt with him, but he's a good dirt horse. Certainly is. Four for eight lifetime on dirt. Showed class on turf. And another horse that I don't think needs to be too far off the expected moderate pace. With a good break, he can get close. The three is cashier check. This horse is moving synthetic to dirt. Sort of an even performance last time out. Maybe a wide trip worked against him a little bit. Finishing directly behind a horse that came back to be stakes placed on turf with an 84 buyer. Yeah, just a, a real wild card in here, this horse. I mean, obviously, he's up in class anyway. The surface switch could really work against him, Dan, or, or maybe it won't. His form on turf and synthetic is actually okay, and he's got the right running style for this race. I wonder how aggressive Irad gets with this horse. He's taken over here. I wonder if he's really aggressive coming out of the gate and is just sending for the early lead. Another horse that might show a bit of early speed, and here is the four, Kozaris, who is stretching out in distance. This horse has sprinted exclusively in his career. He just didn't do it last time out, going seven-eighths to Tampa Bay, chasing a solid pace before tiring. There are some class and distance concerns, Mike, but the price will be right if you believe. I agree with all that stuff. I mean, I think this horse has some talent. I'm worried about him stretching out for this race. I'm not sure that, you know, stretching out around two turns against a field like this I'm not sure that that's really going to help this horse. And he's going to need, I think, a little bit of help if he's going to beat this field. Slim, slow slider has some competitive buyer speed figures on his page. He just hasn't been able to seal the deal a lot throughout his career. Listed as a vet scratch at Tampa Bay on January the 12th. He wheels back eight days after that. Here's his most recent start, a one-turn mile last month. He got wired in this race. It looks like he has a look at it in a mid-stretch, Mike, and he just kind of flattens out the final 16th. Yeah, he does. There's another one. I'm, I think it, it, it's fair to be a little bit worried about this horse going a little bit longer in around two turns because it may not move him up. And just based on what he's done, he's a rock solid horse. He always shows up. He, he can get the right kind of trip in this race. But I think it's, you know, it's fair to wonder whether he moves up with more distance because he's probably got to run the race of his life to win here. Another horse stretching out in distance is the six, the skipper two, and they've tried a lot of different things, whether it's a marathon where he was overmatched in the Birdstone at Saratoga, seven eighths at Tampa last time out where he was just completely outrun behind a very fast pace and then sort of sucked up for fifth. The third place source coming back to place in a second level allowance with an 86 buyer. 
really good connections here. I think he's one of the horses that you don't really have to worry about distance with. It's not going to bother this horse. It's all about whether he can get the right trip in here, because I think uh, the right trip is going to be very important for him. Um, and then he can just show up and run his really good race. I think his good race gives him a real shot. Last win came over this course and distance with a 90 buyer speed figure. Granted, success is the seven. This horse coming off about a two-month layoff, attracting Paco Lopez returns for his four-year-old debut as a first-time gelding and just did nothing last time out sprinting. Maybe stretching out is going to work for him, but this horse, I think, has a lot to find from a buyer standpoint. Yeah, he's just hard to make a, a real case for, for him in here, unless you just really feel like he want, he's wanted distance all along, and it's really going to help him. The only time they tried to stretch him out was on a totally different surface, so forget about that. Let's take a look at our top picks for the Sunshine Classic. I think we both realize that the one is the likely horse to beat in here. I'm just not sure I completely trust this horse at his short price, and I think you made some points that some other horses being aggressively ridden that might actually take his potential pace edge away. Your horse, the two, lure him in should run better, and if he runs back to that buyer two starts back he's a strong contender i think he is too and, and more than more than anything else then he's not going to be the favorite in here i don't see how he right. could be the favorite which i like and it just feels like no matter what anybody else does he's going to fall into a great trip here. he's going to go forward from the uh, from the inside either sit behind the one or somebody else goes sit behind a couple of horses the slim slow slider is going to have to step it up a little bit he seems pace adaptable if it's slow he'll be close if it's fast i think he can come from out of it and again he'll be a better price certainly than the favorite breaking down towards the inside so it's two one three five for mike five one two three for me in the sunshine classic at gulfstream on saturday for florida breads good luck